In this video, I'm going to talk to you about two important areas of trombone intonation. The first area is how to tune your instrument, and the second is something I call hand slide sensitivity. Now regarding tuning your instrument, one of the most common problems that trombone players um, fall victim to is manipulating the pitch with the embouchure. This is not a good idea for a trombone player, with two exceptions. Obviously when you're using jaw vibrato, you are manipulating pitch with your embouchure. And the second exception is if you're already in first position and a note is flat, then you might have to pull it up a little bit with your embouchure. So there are some degrees of subtlety to this issue. However, when you are tuning your instrument and playing your tuning note, you don't want to manipulate the pitch with your embouchure because then you're not getting a true reading. The whole point behind tuning your instrument is making sure that your main tuning slide gets properly adjusted. Once that happens, then you would leave that main tuning slide and when you're in your practice session or whatever, if there is an intonation problem, then it's most likely with your hand slide. Now if you're continually manipulating the pitch with your embouchure without realizing it, well then the problem may not be with your hand slide, it may be with your embouchure. So we want to get away from that idea. Now here's a good strategy for ensuring that you're not manipulating the pitch with your embouchure when you play your tuning note. When you first play, you want to close your eyes so that you can find the center of the pitch genuinely. You should f feel relaxed and focused with your embouchure so that that's how you want to feel all the time when you play. If on the other hand you're pinching the pitch sharp then hopefully with your eyes closed, you'll be able to feel that and allow the pitch to drop and the tone to settle. As you play your note, once you feel like you've rested the pitch, that it's in the center of the note, then open your eyes and see where you're at, and that'll give you a better reading. So here's a good example. So you see what I did there, I started with my eyes closed and then when I opened my eyes I had a good sense of where the pitch belonged, the pitch was settled and my embouchure was relaxed like it should be when I play. And as it turns out I happen to be in tune. One other note about your tuning note, um, you should pretty much be in the same place every day. That is assuming there aren't any other factors like you're not playing outside or something really different then um, your tuning slide really should not fluctuate wildly from one day to another. If it does, that might be an indication that you are in the habit of manipulating the pitch with your embouchure when you really shouldn't be. Um, one more tip about this, and that is if you want to experiment a little bit, then try this study where you keep your eyes open and you bend the pitch with your embouchure on purpose just to feel what it's like to go above and below the note. But when you do this, only go above and below like about 10 cents or so. So here's an example of that. That can be a really good uh, study if you think you might be in the habit of, of habitually pinching the pitch sharp or flat. Of course, um, other brass players use this, trumpeters in particular, they call them pitch bends. Trombone players don't typically do this, but it might be a handy tool if you want to check up on whether or not you're truly centering the pitch. Small movements of your trombone slide really matter when it comes to your intonation. Yeah, it's not good enough just to kind of get in the ballpark. You have to place the slide exactly where it belongs or you will be out of tune. So it's very helpful for you to understand the effect on the pitch that small movements of your slide has. In other words, how far do you have to move in order to change the pitch only 5 to 10 cents? That's critical. Once you learn that, then you'll start to zero in on where to place your slide instead of just sort of putting it there and hoping for the best. So here's an example. I'm going to go out to third position and play a C and move both below and above the pitch um, with the tuner.
When you move your slide, even a very small amount, you have to go with the slide. You have to let the pitch change with the slide. Let me give you an example of moving the slide but not allowing the pitch to change. I'm just going to hold the pitch steady with my embouchure and I'm going to move the slide regardless of that. So that's really hard to do, but there are some players who do that without even realizing it. They're sort of muscling their way through playing the instrument so that they're always holding the pitch with their embouchure and they're not letting go and allowing the instrument to move the pitch for them. This is extremely important because if you're in the habit of holding the pitch with your embouchure, you're going to get tired real quick your tone is going to be inconsistent and you'll never have really reliable intonation. You have to go with the slide.